signs and symptoms at Parkinson's that you must know. Parkinson's disease occurs when nerve cells in the brain that produce the neurotransmitter dopamine begin to die off. When early signs go unnoticed, people don't discover they have Parkinson's until the disease has progressed. People often ignore these warning signs of Parkinson's until the problem becomes severe. It is important to be aware of these signs as addressing the problem early can save you from future complications. Here are the early signs of Parkinson's that can help you identify and get early treatment for Parkinson's. 1. Loss of sense of smell. This is one of the oddest, least known, and often earliest signs of Parkinson's disease, but it almost always goes unrecognized until later. Patients say they were at a party and everyone was remarking on how strong a woman's perfume was, and they couldn't smell it. Along with loss of smell may come loss of taste, because the two senses overlap so much. Patients notice that their favorite foods don't taste right. Dopamine is a chemical messenger that carries signals between the brain and muscles and nerves throughout the body. As dopamine-producing cells die off, the sense of smell becomes impaired, and messages such as odor cues don't get through. Some researchers consider this change so revealing that they're working to develop a screening test for smell function. 2. Trouble sleeping. Before we continue this video, do not forget to subscribe my channel to see other useful health videos. Neurologists stay on the alert for a sleep condition known as Rapid Eye Movement Behavior Disorder RBD, in which people essentially act out their dreams during REM sleep, the deepest stage of sleep. People with RBD may shout, kick, or grind their teeth. They may even attack their bed partners. As many as 40% of people who have RBD eventually develop Parkinson's, often as much as 10 years later, making this a warning sign worth taking seriously. Two other sleep problems commonly associated with Parkinson's are restless leg syndrome like a tingling or prickling sensation in the legs and the feeling that you have to move them, and sleep apnea like the sudden momentary halt of breathing during sleep. Not all patients with these conditions have Parkinson's, of course, but a significant number of Parkinson's patients up to 40% in the case of sleep apnea have these conditions. So they can provide a tip-off to be alert for other signs and symptoms. 3. Constipation and other bowel and bladder problems. One of the most common early signs of Parkinson's and most overlooked, since there are many possible causes is constipation and gas. This results because Parkinson's can affect the autonomic nervous system, which regulates the activity of smooth muscles such as those that work the bowels and bladder. Both bowel and bladder can become less sensitive and efficient, slowing down the entire digestive process. One way to recognize the difference between ordinary constipation and constipation caused by Parkinson's is that the latter is often accompanied by a feeling of fullness, even after eating very little, and it can last over a long period of time. When the urinary tract is affected, some people have trouble urinating while others begin having episodes of incontinence. The medications used to treat Parkinson's are effective for this and other symptoms. 4. Lack of facial expression. Loss of dopamine can affect the facial muscles, making them stiff and slow and resulting in a characteristic lack of expression. Some people refer to it as stone face or poker face. But it's really more like a flattening the face isn't expressing the emotions the person's feeling. The term Parkinson's mask is used to describe the extreme form of this condition, but that doesn't come until later. As an early symptom, the changes are subtle, it's easiest to recognize by a slowness to smile or frown, or staring off into the distance. Another sign is less frequent blinking. 5. Persistent neck pain. This sign is particularly common in women, who have reported it as the third most common warning sign they noticed in surveys about how they first became aware of the disease. Parkinson's related neck pain differs from common neck pain mainly in that it persists unlike a pulled muscle or cramp, which should go away after a day or two. In some people, this symptom shows up less as pain and more as numbness and tingling. Or it might feel like an achiness or discomfort that reaches down the shoulder and arm and leads to frequent attempts to stretch the neck, 